Well, it's about um, six o'clock in the evening here. Tomorrow morning, we're going to shoot some pink foot. We're going to be sat in some goose butts, intercepting them from a roost to their uh, feeding grounds. It's going to be about minus one degrees, so we'll have to wrap up uh, really, really warm. Um, hope you enjoy the video. So we had a bit of a disaster this morning, um, not a disaster, we got one goose but we never got any of it on film um, and the one I did shoot, the shot cam lens was on the front so we never even got that. Um, we came here, these are our butts here, um, so there's one there, there's one here, there's one further along the burn there and there's one back that way but we got here on time really but they they were all landing here when we were walking down, so uh, that's uh, they normally we sh we shoot them off a roost, so um, we normally get them flying over our heads. But there was about four thousand geese landing in this field and this field, so yeah, it's a bit of a disaster. We missed them. They they got off really early and uh, managed to get one on the way across. We'll show you that later, but uh, we'll probably do a take two, I think, of this. To be honest, it looks like they've been here for a few days. So we'll just, uh, we might actually come down. The roost's about 400 yards that way, so we might actually come down with some decoys onto here. See if we can get them that way. So that's just as us walk back from the butts. This is the goose that we got, a, a pink-footed goose. Um, like I said, down there, a bit of a disaster. Um, they came off really early and uh, yeah, we shot this one on the way across to the butts. But we're not finished for the day. It's between Christmas and New Year, so we're just gonna cook the ducks we shot the other night on a fire and shoot some clays and maybe get some shoot footage on the shot cam. Okay, we'll maybe see you a bit later. This duck's going to take about two hours, if not three hours, to cook over the spit on that fire. So uh, we need some pretty decent logs. So anything standing that's dead is probably the best thing for it. Timber. Right, so again we've got our uh, life systems flint and steel and our uh, gerber here. We're just gonna put some 
flames on this cotton ball here. Uh, I've got some dead grass we're just going to light it with. And this grass is a little bit wet. It's been very frosty. Mm. kebab stick to um, roast the duck on. Uh, just going to shave a little end on it so we can poke it through the duck. Oh, that's absolutely delicious. This is like caveman. Okay, you say pool. Okay. Alright, tell me when. What? Okay, pull. Put this on the video, you can't shoot for toffee. <laughs> oh no. 
Yeah, you. Oh. Well done. More practice required, I think. Well, we've had a bit of a day. It's about two o'clock, but we've been goose shooting, albeit very briefly. I got a goose. We shot some clays, cooked some lunch, shot some more clays, and uh, yeah, it's never been above freezing all day, but with the fire, we've been warm enough. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.